Hey, what's happening, guys? What's going on, YouTube? You guys have tuned into Rules for Rebels, and uh, I think we're going to call today's video what sold on Amazon so far this month or something along the lines of what should you sell on Amazon. So uh, I did one of these videos uh, maybe a couple weeks, couple months back. It seemed like some of you guys enjoyed them. Uh, basically, I launched a, a new blog, uh, nothing too big, nothing I'm dumping too much time into, but uh, just a free blogger blog for now. If it continues to take off, which I, I think it kind of has, I'll probably wind up doing a Word, WordPress site and building an email list and everything else. Right now, we're getting, uh, I would say, I don't know, eight to 10,000 views a month on the actual blog. Uh, as well as probably like another 16,000 a month through Medium. So uh, I think that's enough to prove the concept or prove that we're on to, uh, to kind of a decent niche there. Uh, so I probably will be, you know, kind of upping my game a little bit and taking it a little bit more seriously, investing a bit more time and money into it. Uh, but one of the th one of the streams, in addition to a number of different affiliate programs that I'm using to monetize this, is the Amazon affiliate program or the Amazon Associates program. Now, I have some affiliate programs through some other companies that pay anywhere from 10 to 12 percent commissions. Amazon obviously is only four percent, uh, but Amazon's a lot easier to convert sales sometimes. And some of the products that I'm doing uh, are things that people are more likely to buy on Amazon just because the shipping is much cheaper. Uh, the blog is in the kind of workout, health, sports, nutrition niche. Uh, so some of the products you're seeing being sold are actually products within that niche. But I always think it's interesting, and, and that's one of the cool things about Amazon's affiliate program, is that a lot of the products that are selling are things that have nothing to do with what you're marketing. So even if I write a blog post reviewing vacuums, and you click to Amazon through my vacuum post, but you wind up buying yourself, uh, I don't know, we'll say like... Uh, uh, a case of Campbell soup, I'm still going to get paid a commission on that. So uh, I would say there's actually probably more products here that are just random products than are actually products within my niche. Uh, and one of the reasons I wanted to make this video is I see a lot of people like, what should I sell on, on Amazon? What should I sell on Amazon? And some people want to sell their own products in private label. Uh, other people want to resell other brands, right? Like if I'm selling Nikes, I don't really have to get my name out there and market it. People are already looking for Nikes. So whether you're somebody who is looking to do, Icarus is going to be on my ass for that. That thing always pops up. Um, if you're somebody who's looking to sell either private label products or even branded products, whether it be Nike, Nintendo stuff, whatever, uh, this will give you an idea of what's actually selling. I think a lot of people don't want to go into selling things that are already being sold because there's a tendency to feel like, well, somebody's already selling that. I need to find something unique. Let's say you found like a belly button lint remover and you were like, wow, nobody's selling this. This would be, a, I'll be the only one selling this. Well, you got to ask yourself, is anybody really looking to buy a belly button lit, lint, a belly button lint remover, right? Like probably not. Um, so, you know, don't necessarily always look for something groundbreaking or some, something that's not being sold. The fact that other people are selling something means that, you know, there's obviously a demand for it. And I just, I always find it interesting to go through here and just kind of see some of the different stuff people are buying on Amazon. It's interesting seeing some of the different niches of things that are, that are being sold. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. And I'm going to move through this pretty quickly unless we see something interesting. Uh, let's see. This is a custom fog light for motorcycles. This To, to me, this looks like, I guess I was going to say this looks like it's for bikes, but the fact that it's wired in, I guess it is for motorcycles. So uh, fog light for motorcycles, 1329. Uh, you know, I'm always curious. Alibaba.com. Maybe kind of it. See motorcycle fog headlight. I'm always just kind of interesting to see. Okay, so this looks something like fairly similar. 450. The guy selling it for what nine bucks? Not a whole lot of profit there. Um, after Amazon takes out their fulfillment fees and their 15 percent fee. Um, but you know, it looks like if if you were doing volume, you could make some money. So uh, that's a a fairly interesting one. Blue and gold party supplies. Uh, somebody bought 200 pieces of cups and things like that. Uh, I'm guessing this stuff would be dirt cheap on Amazon. Um, let's see, what else do we got here? We got a platypus, 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 a uh, duo lock soft bottle collapsible water bottle. These sell for 976 to 1838. Uh, I'm guessing that there's huge, I'm guessing this thing can't cost more than like 50 cents if that. Let's see here.
And again, I'm not going to waste too much time deep diving into here. Most of the stuff, we'd probably have to use a different search term. Most of the stuff that's coming through here. Okay, you know, this one's fairly similar. Uh, yeah, we won't waste too much time, but that one looks kind of interesting. I would guess, <laughs> excuse me, I would guess that there's pretty good margins uh, on that one there. Uh, let's see, what do we got? We got men's row gain. I'm guessing maybe somebody picked this up off like a, you know, maybe they had a bunch of uh, boxes of this on a clearance shel shelf at Walmart or something like this. Somebody playing a retail arbitrage game, probably some money in that. Uh, let's see, Olympia 8 Pocket Duffel Bag. This is actually a product that I did a review on or marketed a while back. Uh, I think I actually got mine at Meyer. Uh, it's just like a travel duffel bag. Uh, this is what I bring on most of my trips. Uh, so this is actually a product that I actually have marketed in the past. Um, that one's kind of interesting. Let's see here. What is this? Samson, Samson Dynamic Microphone. Uh, I really don't like messing with electronics, so we won't dig too much into that. Vetra Science Laboratories uh, Immune Supplement for Cats. Uh, this is probably some private label supplement. There's uh, a lot of stuff in the supplement space. So that's kind of interesting. A lot of good margins in the supplement space, I should say. Scott Bright Lint Roller. Uh, guessing there's probably pretty good margins there, although it is Scott brand. So I'm guessing this is like a retail arbitrage seller. Uh, let's see. Spectra Fuel Pump. Uh, Okay, so you know, I think a lot of people would never even think to look for like random parts. I'm not really sure what this is used for. I mean, it could be a fuel pump for a car. It could be a fuel pump for some piece of machinery. I really have no idea. Um, but you know, a lot of times I say when you're looking for a product to sell, looking for a niche, looking for a business to get into, um, look to things you know. Like if you're a mechanic or if you're somebody who works on farm equipment, you might know about stuff like this that that has potential good margins and, and not a lot of competition. I don't have a clue what this is, but. Uh, a lot of times the best products are kind of obscure things like this that not that many people would know about. Uh, let's see, Tox Light Titanium. What is this? Uh, an ultralight cooking pot, something like the camping survival niche, which is really popular. I'm guessing there's pretty good margins on something like that. Although if it is really titanium, titani titanium is actually fairly expensive. Uh, let's see. We're getting a lot of microphone stuff, like, uh, you know, a, a microphone... Um, what do they call these things? Uh, like a boom scissor arm for your microphone for podcasting or something like that. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? This is a soundbar cable. Uh, Amazon Basics. Okay, so that's an Amazon product themselves. Um, let's see. Sun protection. What do we got here? Kids hat. I'm guessing these things probably cost under a buck. Probably some good margins there. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so here's somebody just like private labeled. Or, oh, never mind. This is KitchenAid. That's a, an established brand. But uh, something like this would be pretty easy to put together. You like your own bundle of kitchen accessories uh, and just private label stuff on Alibaba. I think the whole like, you know, it's maybe died down a little bit. Like back in like 2016 when I was making a lot of videos like helping people find products, like silicone baking mats and cooking supplies were like super, super saturated. Uh, partly because it's great margins and all of like the YouTube gurus and things we're teaching about it. Uh, what do we have here? This is uh, a sling backpack. Uh, I love this style of backpacks. I was thinking about rolling out my own. I wanted to do a better quality version than most other people are doing. Uh, you know, better quality materials and things like that, but it would also cause my price point to go up. And I think a lot of people are looking for these backpacks at like a sub $20 price point. Um, I actually got a sample I ordered off Alibaba that's actually really nice. I've actually been carrying it as kind of my, my EDC or my everyday carry backpack. Um, let's see, what do we got here? A weed grinder. Um, I don't know if I've marketed this, but uh, I like weed. I like uh, I like having a grinder to grind my weed, so I may have talked about this in the past. Uh, this seems like kind of a cheap brand. I forget my brand is like Moon Rocks or something like that. Um, let's see here, poly bundle bag. I'm guessing these are poly bags for Amazon sellers. Yep. Um, let's see... Hanes Women's Bras. What is this? Welding gloves. I'm. Eh, I don't know what you'd chart, what you'd pay for these on Amazon, but uh, potentially some good margins on something like that. Suffocation labels. I think I. I think I did a video a couple years ago, probably back in like 2016, uh, showing people like how to send in your Amazon FBA merchandise, as well as you know, how it has to be packed and things like that. So I probably linked to this product. That's probably a, a product that I've actually um, marketed in the past. Let's see, was this rifle scope? 
I think that niche is kind of saturated. And me personally, if I were going to buy a, a rifle scope, it wouldn't be some Amazon private label brand. It would be like a, a real brand. Uh, free pouches, something else. Oh, because pouches for your Dungeons and Dragons dice. Uh, that's another thing. You know, if, if you're into board games or Dungeons and Dragons, like this is something that you might know about. Maybe you could put a character on the bags, but uh, I, I know nothing about Dungeons and Dragons. Let's see. What else do we got here? gunsmithing okay so i got someone who's into who's into guns I, i'm guessing this like holds your rifle so that you can file it or work on it what else do we got here address i guess people are digging the sling backpacks we get in this one's a you know 27 bucks instead of 19 this looks like better quality material so maybe there is a market for sling backpacks uh let's see what is this Okay, so they're marketing this as a cigarette tube holder. To me, this looks like a glass one hitter, um, but I don't think you're allowed to sell glass one hitters on Amazon. Hence, I'm marketing it as a cigarette holder, even though I'd be putting some buds in there. Uh, $14.95 is pretty cheap. You can pick these up at, at your local gas station or head shop for what, like three bucks. Um, so that's interesting. Probably some good margins there. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Blood orange something. Blood orange energy drink. Uh, so it looks like a private label supplement. I'm not familiar with that brand uptime. Um, let's see. What do we got here? Dog whistles. I may have marketed these. I, uh, you know, I got pets. I've made some videos about my dogs and stuff. Uh, so dog whistle on a string, seven, 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 seventy nine. I'm guessing these probably are, are under a dollar to buy. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, Let's check it out. Okay, so literally this is the exact same thing we just looked at. You can source it for 35 to 58 cents. Uh, it would be small, light, and easy to ship. It wouldn't easily be breakable. The Amazon FBA fees on something like that would be really cheap. Uh, so I'm guessing 7.79 after Amazon fees, say 7.654. I'm guessing you probably have somewhere between three and four bucks uh, profit after all the Amazon fees. And again, this is only costing you 30 cents. Um, so yeah, I think that could uh, could potentially be a promising product. Let's see how well it's selling. I mean, there's no shortage of dog whistles on here. So there's obviously competition, but uh, let's see here. Did I miss the, uh... oh, here we go. So... 157 in dog whistles that's a that's a pretty specific category dog whistles so 157 is a decent rank but that's very specific 133,000 pet supplies i'm guessing this is probably selling like three to ten units a day so uh three dollars profit so it'd be like thirty dollars profit a day which uh i know it doesn't seem seem like a ton but one of the things i've always said about amazon is you just continue rolling out kind of a catalog of products and this product starts making you 30 cents a day you order you know, thousands of them in bulk for like a couple hundred bucks. Uh, you send them into Amazon FBA and you don't really think about it until three months, four months later when you actually got to reorder inventory. Um, and then if you can move on and do another similar product, ideally a dog product, so you kind of start building a collection of niche products, uh, get another one making $30 a day, that's $60 a day. Get a third one making $30 a day, that's $90 a day. So uh, that's kind of interesting. Let's see. Um... What do we got here? What do we got here? Three pack of silicone rings for Instapots. Uh, and this is another category that I think is is interesting, right? Like accessories for things. I remember I used to have like a Brita water filter and I broke the top or built broke the, there's like a little cap that when you pour it opens up, but otherwise it's closed to keep dust and stuff out of there. Uh, like a little part like that, you know, people wind up breaking and they need to be replaced. I'm guessing these can't cost more than out of 12 cents a ring 12 24 36 so say this costs 36 for a three pack uh they're selling it for 8.99 these again small light easy to ship won't break potential great amazon fba product right there um and then lastly we got redcon one total war pre-workout uh this is actually a th this pre-workout's a little bit stronger than i like i i, I like taking some of the weaker pre-workouts uh, but this is a great pre-workout. And this, this one was actually kind of popular. This is uh, Demogorgon Blood, which uh, I never really got into the Stranger Things Netflix series, but a lot of people love that. Uh, this is like a Stranger Things themed flavor. So um, I don't Hopefully you guys found this video interesting. Let me know if, if you guys like this video and kind of looking at products and maybe getting some insights into Amazon products to sell. Uh, let me know and I'll continue making these videos like once a month as I get my results. This is about eight days worth of sales. 
Um, so by the end of the month, we should have some more. But if you guys like this type of video, give me a thumbs up, hit that sub button, let me know, and I'll start doing this uh, maybe uh, a couple days into every month. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Later. Peace. I'm out.